Hello, grade eight. Uh, let us consider this question, which is on number patterns. So we are going to answer out this question, which was on question number two, and that was question 2.3. Study the following pattern. So you were given a pattern that you're supposed to study. So this is it, guys. You are supposed to check or to see if there is a common difference between the terms or if there is what is called a common ratio, which is constant ratio or constant difference. So you are supposed to check for these two, all right? A constant difference. A constant a difference. This is what you're gonna need. A constant a difference or it can be a constant ratio. So this is how you are going to check these ones. These are terms, term one, this is your term two, this is your term three, and so on and so on. So you are going to check if there is a constant difference, you are going to see that this difference is going to be the same for term two minus term one. So if you subtract these term two, all right, let us just save it this way. Uh, let's just say you choose term two minus term one. It must be the same even if you use term three minus term two. So these can be term three minus term two and so on. For the common ratio, guys, you are going to see that if you were to divide these two terms dividing, if this is T2 over T1, you must have the same thing as T3 over T2. So this can be T3 over T2. So this is how we are going to confirm that there is a constant difference or there is a constant ratio. So let's check. The first thing is to check for the common difference, which is the constant difference, because that's the easiest thing, just to subtract. It is easier for us to subtract. So let's subtract and see if we subtract this 5 minus 2. So that's 5 minus a 2. You're going to get a 3. So there is a difference of a 3. Okay, let's do the same thing on these ones. 8 minus a 5. So if you subtract 8 minus a 5, you get a 3. So as you can see, this is the same. So what does it mean? It means that a three was added on each number that we are seeing here. A three was added to give us a five. Okay, a three was added to give us eight. That's five plus three, that's an eight. So what does it mean? A three is going to be added to obtain the next number. Eight plus three, that's 11. And also a three is going to be added because it's a constant difference throughout. So if we add a three, 11 plus a three, that's a 14. So that is how you could have calculated this. You are simply adding the difference to find the next term. You add that difference. You add the difference to find the next term. So there we had a constant difference. So if you check for a constant ratio, you're going to see that it's not going to work. All right. Determine the rule. So on the other part, you are now asked to determine the rule. So the rule is the TN. It's, it's written in terms of N. That's in the form TN is equal to. So the rule is TN is equal to. All right. So this is what I want you to understand. Whenever you see that there is a common, which is a constant difference like this, I want you to understand this. You are going to have this situation. A number that is going to multiply n, all right? Then here we are going to add or subtract another number in this case. So we do not know what are we going to add or what are we going to subtract in this case? All right, so this is what I want you to understand. 
this number that you are seeing here, the first block here, the first block, it represents the common difference. This one, it is that common difference. And what is our common difference or our constant difference? Our constant difference is a three. So this you're going to put a three here. Take note, you put a difference. So Tn is equal to 3n. Then here you are supposed to choose now. There's another way. There's another way. All right. So this is what you're going to ask yourself. Look what is happening here. This is the first term. Remember I say T1. So it follows that your first term is equal to 2. All right. Your second term is equal to, is equal to 5 and so on and so on. So what does it mean? This n, take note here, take note, guys. Look here, look here. This is n, this one. It's n, 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 this one. So meaning to say, if our n is 1, we are supposed to get our answer as a 2. So if we put a 1 here, that is what we're going to do. Okay? So we want to know what is going to be the number that we are going to put here. This is what you're going to do. So this is what you're going to do. You take this number, T1, that is N is 1. So you're going to write this way, this 2. You substitute on this side. So 2 is equal to. In place of this N, you substitute or you put this 1. So you're going to put a 1. So it's 3 times a 1 in this case. But remember, there is something that we need here. And we do not know this. You do not know this. All right, so what is going to be this? That is what you want to know. Okay, so that is two is equal to three times one, which is three plus what we do not know here. So how are we going to find out this? That if you add, you support get a two. So this is what you do. You bring this three to the other side of your equation. This is what you're going to do. You take this three, to the other side of the equation, the moment that a number, it jumps an equation, the moment that a number, it just jumps an equation, it changes the sign to be a negative. So if it was a positive, it becomes a negative. If it was a negative, it becomes a positive. So it will be minus three is equal to that part that we want on this side that we do not know. So two minus three, two, minus three, that is minus one, is equal to that part that we do not know, which is minus one. So it means this block is representing minus one. This block, there is a minus one. There is a minus one in that block. So therefore, we can write this as, so we can just write this properly as, so this is therefore to write the final answer, Tn is equal to, you take this, this is going to be 3n plus and minus, it gives you a minus 1. So this is our Tn at the end. This is how our Tn was going to be like. So you look for this num, but this one is the difference. So you're going to look for this one from these terms. All right. There is another way. This is another way that we could have answered this. All right. So the other way is this way. Remember, you want Tn. So this is what you're going to do. You take your numbers. Uh, T1 is equal to this. T2 is equal to this five and so on and so on. You list them down. T3, the next term, it was T3, which is equal to eight like that. So this is what it means here. Uh, I want you to see this. It, it, you are going to analyze your information. Like you are going to study what is happening here. Remember, there is a common, which is our constant difference of a three. Remember that there is a constant difference of three. So it means that to get these two, this is what happened. It was like this. T1 is equal to two which is this number two here. So how are we going to get this two? How are we going to get this two? 
So this two here that we are seeing, it is equal to the disparence. Remember, you're supposed to have at least in mind that concept of multiplying by any then adding another number. So this is what you're going to do. You take this, which is your two here. So you want to get these two, this one. When you substitute, the first n is one. So meaning to say the difference, this one is always the difference. So is the difference times one. We are substituting one. The first number is one. So what are we going to do so that we get a two? We are supposed to get this two. Three times one. Three times one is three. So what are we going to do on three to get a two? Are we going to add it? Are we going to, what are we going to do so that we get a, a two? We must subtract a one. Three minus one, that's a two. All right. So let's just see. Like I said, we are going to subtract a, a one. Let's just see. Let's move on to the second one. T2 is equal to a five, this one. T2 is five. So how do you get this five? You get it this way. Always here, this one, it represents what? Your common ratio. I mean, your common difference, which is the constant difference, which is three. So it's three times, this is the second term. So this time you are using two. So it's three times two. Okay, let's multiply. Three times two, that's a six. So what are we going to do on a six to get this five? Because remember, we are supposed to get a five. What are we going to do? We subtract a one. Six minus one, that's a five. So meaning to say we are going to subtract a one. So as we can see, it's repeating its own. We are subtracting a one. We are subtracting one. There is a common distance and a common difference, which is our constant difference of a three, which is the same. So it means our TN, therefore this TN can be given as all right, so this is going to be our difference. So that is going to be 3n. All right, this part represents the number of terms. And what are we getting? We are getting a minus 1 throughout. It is minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. You are going to get a minus 1 throughout. So that means your tn is equal to 3n minus 1. Okay, I just hope you choose which method is easier there because I explained two ways. I don't know which one is going to be easier, but this here that you are seeing, it represents, it is a, it is a rule. Uh, whenever you're talking about, about a rule, it means this is, a, what, this is the situation like um, a, the connection between the input and output values, where N is the input. So N is the input. And TN represents the output if you calculate that. So that is what it means. So you've got the input and output. So this is what now they're asking here on 2.33. Use the rule, this one that you got on 2.42, to find the 15th term of the pattern, to find the 15th, 15th. Remember, this rule is given in terms of Tn, like Tn. So N is representing number of terms. N is number of terms. So they are saying the 15th term, the 15th term, that is our Tn, the 15th term, meaning to say you need to calculate T15 when the number of terms are 15. What is that 15th term? The 15th term is T15. All right? 15th term. Take note, guys. Take note about that. So that's 2.33. So the 15th term represents T15. So if you take it that way, that you are asked to calculate T15, what does it mean? Take it here. Remember, I said TN, N. N is 15. So this time it means N is 15. The number of terms is 15. So N is equal. Remember it was TN, but where this N now, they are no longer writing N, they are writing what? 15. So it means that N you put 15. So if N is 15 like this, 
what is T15? So meaning to say T15 is equal to, remember we are saying N is 15. So where there is N, you are going to put 15. So it means three, where there is N, you put 15. Three N means three times N. Then you subtract one. So you continue from this rule that you calculated before. So like I said, N is the input. So if you input 15, what is the output? That is what they are saying. So T15 is going to be equal to three times 15. So you multiply three times 15, that is going to be 45 minus one, which is going to be a 40, a 44. So this is T15, that is 44. That is how you're going to answer these questions. So we go for more questions like this from Mason African Motives till we meet again.